And three top fives, six top ten finishes. Um, you're also a little busy uh, with your uh, non-racing pursuit, uh, and are now, I believe, in your third year uh, at the University of Miami in medical school. Uh, this is your first start in the series since Iowa last year. Uh, tell us, how does it feel to be back in the car here at Richmond? Yeah, it feels great to be back. Um, you know, I love the, the NASCAR k and series. I had a lot of fun. Uh, obviously, a lot of success the last couple of times I've been able to be in the, uh, the Bill McAnally Toyotas, and I'm happy to be back out here from such a big race uh, at Richmond. Awesome. Uh, so, I was out there earlier. I noticed uh, your car, you got a pretty unique paint scheme. Tell us a little bit about your sponsor this weekend. We definitely have a unique paint scheme this week. Uh, if you guys have seen any of the K&N practice, it's the bright pink car. It stands out anywhere it is on the racetrack. A uh, really unique program that we were able to put together uh, with AutoNation for the AutoNation Cure Bowl. Uh, it's going to be a great football game. It's happening in Orlando uh, December 19th uh, this year. Uh, it's going to be the first bowl game to ever focus exclusively on breast cancer. We're promoting breast cancer awareness and also trying to generate funds for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Um, the foundation itself has raised over $500 million uh, for breast cancer research in the past and AutoNation is making a million dollar commitment through this football game uh, to raise funds to help find a cure for breast cancer. So I'm really happy, really fortunate that they selected me to represent their cause. Um, definitely having some of the experience on, on the medical side, uh, being in school and then being able to, uh, to have the podium here and sit here in front of you guys and talk about uh, breast cancer and how important it is to, to find a cure for it. Um, you know, I'm happy to be able to serve as a spokesperson for them. We have a really unique paint scheme and uh, hopefully have a good race tonight. Excellent. Questions for Patrick? You just raise your hand, we'll get a microphone to you. We'll get right over here to Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Kelly Grammer from HuffleSpeed.com. Patrick, I believe next year you'll have your medical degree? Yeah, a uh, year and a half away right now, so June 2017. Okay, so is there ever a time where you think you're going to have to get to the point where you might have to choose between one profession or the other? Yeah, um, you know, I feel like that fork in the road is definitely coming at some point. Um, I love racing. I, I was, I'm so passionate about this, and I've loved doing it uh, since I was 12 years old. Got my first go-kart. Grew up going to the racetrack with my dad. Uh, so any opportunity I've had to get behind the wheel of a race car, I'm going to take it. Definitely shuffle around my school schedule uh, to be able to be here this week. Um, you know, at, at a certain point, hopefully, you know, we keep running good, keep getting more opportunities, and uh, you know, race, racing is what I love. So I, I would go for it in a heartbeat. We'll go right here to Chris. Hey, Chris. Welcome back. Thank you. Chris Trent, Uh Is this one race deal, or are you going to try to finish the finale at Dover in a couple weeks? Yeah, two race deal. We'll be here at Richmond and also Dover on October 2nd. I've got a lot of really cool stuff planned with Auto Nation. We're going to have the car at the game in Orlando uh, in, uh, in December, and um, a couple other cool promotions we'll be announcing as we get into October with Breast Cancer Awareness Month.